My name is Jeremy Walton, and these are my filmmaking travel tips part two. Let's go. I hate packing. I hate it. Oh, it totally feels like deja vu right now. Eh, it's probably nothing. Now there's camera bags, and then there's camera bags. Now the one I take on a hike is going to be different than the one I travel with. My travel bag needs to fit a lot of stuff. Like a lot of stuff. Like whatever you're thinking, double it, and then like throw in a few more things. And it needs to fit some of my most valuable, expensive stuff, like my cameras, my lenses, and my laptop. My companion for a while now has been uh, this bad boy, the Timba Rodi HDSLR video backpack. I love it, I love it. And I'm guessing you're wondering what's inside. Well, I'll show you. Okay, I got a lot of stuff in here, so I got my drone, my Mavic Air Pro, Mavic Air, what the? I got my drone, my Mavic Air Pro, why I keep calling a Mavic Air? Got my drone, my Mavic Air, got my drone, my Mavic Pro Platinum, <laughs> got it right. Batteries for the drone. Indie filters, more indie filters, a Temba rain cover. If it rains, you put it on. Simple. Some portable juice. These guys for all sorts of different things. Charger, more batteries because you can never have enough. Portable hard drive. Oh. Yep, G. Okay, I got a lot of stuff in there. I got extra cables, extra adapters, SD cards, you name it, it's in there. But I do want to show you something. On top of this bag, there's two compartments. This is where I keep all my audio gear, especially my headphones. What I like about this is when my bag is in the overhead compartment, I don't have to take the bag all the way out to grab my headphones if I want to watch a movie. And it's where I keep my snacks, so it's a win-win. I did want to show you how deep these pockets are. Hello, hello. Hello. Pretty deep. For example, I showed you my Mavic Pro. But you're probably asking, where's the controller? It's right here, calm down. It also came with this foam pad, and that's just to protect the joysticks. Now these pockets are so deep that in one pocket, I can put my controller and on top of the pad, put my GH5. This allows me to stack my equipment and just put more and more and more and more. Overall, this bag allows me to fit everything that I need on my back when I travel, and that's exactly what I was looking for. I do want to mention though, Temba does claim that this bag meets the strictest international carry-on standards when fitting in the overhead. But how do you really know? That gives me an idea. But first, I have to repack everything. <laughs> if you haven't figured it out yet, we are headed to the airport at a really slow pace. Well, I got you here. I might as well give you a few more tips. I'm hungry, and luckily, I packed a snack. Mush. Mmm, oh yeah. Comes with a spoon. Mm. That's so good. Next up, ah. Next up, ah. Lotion. It may seem like a simple tip, but it has saved my hands so many times I can't even count. You can actually bring this on the plane. So throw it in your bag, forget about it, until you need it. I do kind of want to take a swim. Sometimes you have to travel really far to show that a backpack can fit in an overhead. And luckily it did because this would have been a weird episode if it didn't. So good job, Timba. I kind of already knew it was gonna fit, but I wanted to build the suspense. Yeah, flat. Well, I think that's the last tip for this episode. So the only thing left to do is hop on a plane and head back home. Yeah. Just got to LA, traffic's gonna be crazy, so I'm gonna take a shortcut. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, that's, uh... Well, there you have it. My filmmaking travel tips part two. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button because there's more to come. Subscribe so you don't miss out. But until then, comment below. Let me know if these travel tips are helping you out. And as for this episode, it's a wrap. Oh, you want to know where I really traveled to? I guess I can tell you. I went to...